The WordPress dashboard is one of those parts of WordPress that really hasn't had a lot of love or attention paid to it for a very long time. Now, while those of us that are used to moving around it are pretty much comfortable and familiar with it, it can be a pretty daunting place for the uninitiated. So this is why it's great that there are ways in which we can make the WordPress dashboard less intimidating and an even more welcoming place. In this guide, I'll be showing you some great options to customize the dashboard. Now, some of them are free, some of them are pro, but all of them give you great options. You can even combine some of these together to get something truly unique. Now, while this guide is provide a basic information on each of the options that I've handpicked, I have dedicated videos to many of these and I will link those in the description below. So if you want to learn more about a specific option, you can delve in deeper with a dedicated and more detailed video tutorial. So White Label CMS comes from Troy Dean over at WP Elevation and it provides a huge amount of control over the WordPress dashboard. Now I've used White Label CMS on several client and personal projects in the past and it's always worked well to fine tune the overall dashboard experience. So since I first used it, it's grown a lot in features and now has the majority, if not all of the tools you'll need to create a more unique, less overwhelming WordPress dashboard for you, your clients or your contributors. Now, out of all of the options we'll be taking a look at today, White Label CMS is the only one that has an onboarding wizard to get you started. It's not overly complex and can easily be skipped if you simply want to get to the good stuff, but it can make the initial setup steps quick, easy and painless. Now, speaking of the good stuff, there's a lot to unpack here from custom branding to customizing the login screen. If you want to hide the fact you're using WordPress, there are several options to remove and replace that branding with any kind of branding of your own. You can also simply remove the WordPress version information if needed. Now, personally, I'd rather leave this in place as it makes looking into a site just to check to make sure you're up to date so much easier just by being able to see that version number. Now, speaking of customizing the login screen, I'd love to see a customizer-like experience like that offered in Ultimate Dashboard Pro. Now, this is something we'll take a look at in a short while, but it just makes the whole editing more visual over the fill out the boxes approach employed by White Label CMS. Now, one area that is great to see is under the dashboard section, where we can manage and add new panels to our WordPress dashboards homepage. Now, this is made even more useful if you want to add custom design panels using basic HTML, Elementor or Beaver Builder Pro. So this allows you to create visually interesting and feature rich dashboard panels for your users when they log in and remove those awful default WordPress ones. As with most of the options we'll be covering today, there's control over the menu structure, admin bars, and a lot more. All the core things you'll need to take control over what your clients or user roles can and cannot access. It's great to see so many features included in a totally free tool. While there isn't a lot of options for styling your dashboard, you could easily pair it up white label CMS with a dashboard theme like Slate and manage the look and the functions separately. More on this kind of thing a little later in the video. All in all, there's not a lot to dislike about White Label CMS. Admin 2020 offers an abundance of customization options for your dashboard. If you're looking for an easy way to immediately change the entire look of the WordPress dashboard, but don't have the time to get in and tweak everything or install a bunch of plugins to handle many common tasks, this plugin may be a great option for you. You can very easily configure it to show a load of useful statistics on the dashboard homepage, link it to Google Analytics, and you can view some useful data directly here. If you want to add training videos on how to use the website, you can do that here too. There are a lot of options to help make the dashboard home a useful place, as opposed to a place, well, basically just for the plugin companies to slap their promotional advertising bump on. So changing up the look is only part of what Admin 2020 offers though. You also have a media manager plugin built in, which you can turn off if you have an alternative or simply don't want to use one. You can manage all the menus, what's on display, the order and loads, loads more. You should easily be able to tweak everything to get the look and feature set that you or your client wants. To be honest with you, there are so many options for tweaking Admin 2020 that you should be able to find a combination that works well for you. It also includes light and dark modes as well as a load of customization options so you can get it in line with yours or your client's branding without too much fuss. And then once you get the perfect setup, you can easily export those settings and apply them to additional copies of WordPress dashboards with relative ease. Now, if you'd like to try Admin 2020 out, 
they, you can use a light version for free. But if you want to get the full fat version though, you are going to have to stump up $39 at the time of recording for a single license, $159 for an unlimited license, or $249 for a lifetime license with unlimited sites. Now, I don't think the lifetime and annual fees are too bad, but the $39 for a single site license, in my opinion, is a bit steep and pretty much double what I paid for it about three to four months ago. So that wraps up my quick look at Admin 2020. Have you used it on your sites or is this something you could see yourself using? Let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. A new option to me is Branda from WPMU Dev and is generally aimed at multi-sites where you want to have global control over various aspects of the WordPress dashboard. However, you can still leverage many of the tools included on a single site. And if you're used to using this particular plugin, it may be a great choice for you. As you'd expect, Branda includes a host of the usual suspects like menu management and so on. In Branda's case, you can manage a lot of the settings based on user roles and specific users, something that I really do appreciate. Now you have some really granular controls over the various aspects of the admin menu, the admin menu bar, branding, logo, color schemes, and an absolute shed load of other options. To be honest, with a lot of these tools for customizing the WordPress dashboard, you could very easily get overwhelmed with the amount of settings and tweaking options on offer. But thankfully, in the case of Brander, you can choose what options are enabled and or disabled. So this means you could easily spend time only configuring the options that actually matter to you. So personally, I really appreciate this level of granularity as it means I don't have to see and potentially be overwhelmed by the sheer number of options the brand actually offers. Finally, as with most of the plugins and options I'm covering here today, you can easily import or export your settings. So once you've done getting everything just the way you like it, you can export that and import it into any future sites that you use Brander on. It's a real time saver and something that I do like to see in all of these different tools and options. Now, there is a Brander Pro version, but you don't need to have that. I'm only gonna be looking at the free version today, but obviously there are gonna be more options available in the Pro version. Links in the description, you can check that out if it interests you. Now, there's one area that I'm not too keen on, and that's the heavy use of branding and advertising that is included in the plugin settings section. But as long as it stays confined to only the plugin settings, then I can personally live with it. It's not too intrusive. The Ultimate Dashboard Pro is from the same company that brought you the Page Builder Framework WordPress theme and provides a more simplistic approach to your dashboard tweaking efforts. But don't take that for being less useful. Consider it more of a case of allowing you to do what needs to be done without adding a ton of unnecessary bells and whistles that you may have absolutely no use for whatsoever. It does pack some very useful features in though, especially like the ability to easily add in your own custom dashboard panels and using a page builder to design something truly useful and eye-catching. You can also very easily configure what content is to show to each of the user's roles. Now, you could set up one set of options and include information for your site editors, and a different set of options and information for your site authors. Again, all the usual options are here for removing the annoying WordPress dashboard panels either en masse or to pick and choose what is shown from a list of available options. You can manage the menu structure based on user roles, which is great to see. But personally, I would love to also see the options for customizing things based on specific users. And not all editors are created equal after all, and having granular control will be super useful. Where the Ultimate Dashboard Pro shines though is its ability to create your own dashboard widgets that can contain text, videos, HTML and more and are really easy to set up for many different purposes. You can then assign the location in your dashboard for them and also what user roles will see that particular widget. So this gives you a lot of customization and personalization options. If you want to white label your WordPress dashboard, that's an option. Want to add a little class to the boring WordPress login section? That's easily achieved here too. Although I would like to see more options available here to tweak the fonts, remove the lost password links, those kinds of things. But that's a small niggle for sure. So if you're looking for a powerful tool for editing and adding additional options to your WordPress dashboard, Ultimate Dashboard Pro is one to put on your shortlist. So Slate is less of a dashboard customization plugin and more of a theme for your dashboard. Now the cool thing here is that you can easily combine Slate's dashboard redesign with a plugin like Ultimate Dashboard Pro and really go to town on the design and features of your custom dashboard. Combining tools like this allows you to get more control over the dashboard's look and feel and makes editing and tweaking the CSS standard for the dashboard through the settings panel really easy. 
However, if you simply want to have some control over the CSS style of Slate, where well, you could use the simple Code Snippets plugin and tweak to your heart's content from there. Now, if you want more control over the theme itself, you can take a look at Slate Pro, which clocks in at about $23 per license over on Code Canyon from Envato. I personally haven't used Slate Pro, so I can't comment on the features it offers or if it's worth investing in. You'll have to judge that one for yourself, I'm afraid. Now, building your own custom dashboard for WordPress isn't going to be for everyone, but if you enjoy the challenge and don't mind learning some new tools, it can give you a fresh way of providing your clients with a truly unique set of options and a custom design. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on building your own custom front end dashboards as I've created several dedicated videos in this topic, and I'll include links to those. So if you want to delve into them in a bit more detail, you can do that by using those links. I just know there are lots of great tools that make this process fairly straightforward. Some great free options that will get you started. And if you want to make more comprehensive and feature rich versions of your front end dashboard, well, there are pro tools that provide a lot more control over your designs and the features on offer. Now, while WordPress is a popular and very powerful platform, you can gain a lot more control over this often overlooked aspect of your website management process. Hopefully this video has shown you some of the great options that are out there and piqued your interest on how you can customize things. As always, all of the applicable links are in the description below. And if you've made it this far into the video, well, why not give us that thumbs up button a click? It really does help the channel out. While you're at it, if you enjoyed the content, why not also click the subscribe button and slap the bell icon. But if you didn't find the content useful, hit the thumbs down button twice, as that works pretty well too. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tets, and until next time, take care.